Scotland, home to some of the most breathtaking and dramatic scenery in the United Kingdom. It's where golf was born, boasting some of the best courses in the world. And next year, it'll be the backdrop for the 2019 Solheim Cup, held at the legendary Glen Eagles. Just a stone's throw from the iconic course, you'll find Europe's 2019 team captain, Katrina Matthew. If I've been away, say, for two or three weeks playing, you know, my first week home, I usually I won't play at all, won't really practice or do anything, just, you know, back uh, being a mum, picking them up from school, um, become a bit far to say I do the cooking, not, it's not my strong point, but, uh, you know, just being around the house and, and doing normal things, and then and the next week I'd probably start practicing a bit more. Um, but over the winter, you know, I've taken a little bit of a break, so just been home more and uh, just enjoyed being at home with the family and just, uh, you know, kind of doing normal, normal things. What was my signature dish, Katie? Pasta. Oh, you do like that one pasta I make, yeah, with the rocket. Living here, we're only an hour and a half from Glen Eagles, which is, you know, a, bit, a lot easier. You know, quite often you could be a flight away from where you're, the venue's going to be. So, uh, you know, it's easy to nip up for a day, um, you know, from here, so, which makes it a lot easier. It was easy for me to to accept. <laughs> I mean, I think it was, it, I mean, I think I had said I would, um, you know, like to put my name in for the captain, say, 19, obviously, with it being in Scotland and with where I am in my career, I probably felt, you know, to try and play another one was just pushing it a bit too far. So, uh, you know, it just worked out, it couldn't have worked out better for me to be 19 and in Scotland. So, uh, you know, obviously absolutely delighted when they, you know, when they did ask me and uh, didn't take me long to say yes. When you take something like this on, you, I suppose you don't know exactly how much work it's all going to involve, but, um, you know, I'm still going to play um, for myself a pretty full schedule. I think it's good because I'm out there, you know, with the players, you know, just knowing what's going on and seeing how they're all playing. So, uh, and I can chat to them and things from out there about varying things on the Solheim. And then 19, you know, I'll probably still play because um, I think then I'm out there as well, which is good. So, uh, schedule, I'll probably just be busier, perhaps tournament weeks and, uh, I'll have to be slightly more organised, perhaps, when I'm at home. Katrina's plans are already well underway after recently visiting Glen Eagles to recce the course, with several more trips expected before the big day next year. Probably next spring, I think they're doing some, some big renovations, so go next spring and, you know, get more of an idea of where our rooms are going to be and the team room and different things and the locker rooms and that situation. And then probably go again in September and uh, just see how the course plays, you know, the same time of year. The home soil advantage does make a, a big difference. I mean, I think we saw that in Des Moines this year. Um, you know, I think they had record crowds and very few of them were, unfortunately, were European. So uh, it does make quite a difference. It can really um, perhaps swing the momentum. You know, it can really, if the Americans get up, it can be tougher for you to, the away side, to perhaps edge away at that lead when the, the crowd really gets into it. So, uh, you know, hoping for some big crowds out here in Glen Eagles and some European points on the board to get them get them shouting. <laughs> I think the one, probably one of my favourites was Barca back in uh, Sweden in 03. That was the first uh, winning side I'd been on. Katrin Nilsmark was uh, captain that, that year, but uh, I actually managed to get the winning point there in the 17th against Rosie Jones in the singles. So, uh, you know, that's one of my, one of my favourite memories from the Solheim. Obviously, Ireland was a great one. Uh, Alison Nicholas, the captain there. Another. It's funny. It's always the winning ones you like, isn't it? But no, that was that was a great one. Uh, the crowds were fantastic there, um, and a, a great party on the Sunday night on that one. Uh, and I must say, I enjoyed cricket stick. I thought the course there was great, uh, even though we did lose that one. But uh, really liked the golf course there. It's my favourite week every two years. Golf's a, a very individual game, so uh, you know to have that opportunity to have 11 teammates, have a captain, vice captains, helpers, all there, everyone there pulling for you. And I mean, there's honestly there's no better feeling than when you win a Solheim Cup. Um, so I think it's quite different. Obviously, you know when you have been lucky enough to win a major, and when you win that, obviously on a personal level, it's very very special. But uh, to win a Solheim, you've got you know you've got. Um, 50 people there ready to celebrate with you. It's just great fun.